right, we are in Cranbrook. We're gonna hit up the Cranbrook Community Forest and see what we can get up to. There's some blues, greens, and blacks. We're kinda gonna explore and get lost and we'll see what's up with these trails. Coming through. See you later. <laughs> sand stuff is pretty cool. It's harder than it looks. So, uh, so we got in last night. We stayed uh, just in a parking lot. Uh, we went to Radium Hot Springs last night. It wasn't a natural hot springs. It was cool, but it was still nice to kind of cool off. Uh, so tomorrow, we're falling over. Standing on rocks. Tomorrow we are going to ride this mountain right over there. Yeah, you there's a mountain over there that we're going to ride. There is... Yeah, you can see some of it to the right there. Not the one on the left, it's to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right from our campsite though, the trail started right here. It was nice to plug in. We haven't, this is our first time plugging in, so we hooked up an amazing Buddha Bowl Instant Pot meal. Yes. Which was killer. Killer. Matt and washed then, uh, all the bikes. charged everything up and then I washed bikes and did some maintenance stuff and just oiled the chains and stuff like that. He also Ready turned his uh, road bike to tubeless. Yeah. If you don't know what that means. Neither it do I. It basically just means if you're not into biking you just watch us for van life. It basically just means that he took the tube out of his tire and put sealing in it so this way you don't need a tube. You don't need a tube. It's a little lighter yeah. and any little puncture that you can get on the road that would typically make you have to stop, replace your tube, or, it or, seals it. or patch, your, patch your tube. It just automatically squirts the liquid into the hole, yeah. and then you just keep riding. Maybe put a little bit of air in it, but just keep on riding home. It's uh, mostly common with mountain bikes, but Matt thought he'd give it a try. Wow, you are shaggy. Look at that. <laughs> Cyclocross. Yeah. Cyclocross road bike slash whatever touring bike. So just wanted to make it comfy for ripping around town, going to get groceries and running errands and stuff like that rather than always hopping in the van, starting it up, because we know it's, yeah. it's a beast on the gas, so. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go. better than I did. Wow. Hey! Hey! 
Oh. Hey! Hey! Canadian! soup recipe thing um Matt's laughing at me outside and uh come find out both cameras didn't record much of it uh I don't know exactly when uh this little guy stopped recording um but uh the one that I had pointed in the pot basically only filmed me putting onions in the pot and that was it so I'll just give you a little heads up right now so I'm kind of making like a macaroni soup, vegetarian soup. So we got some onion, garlic, uh, celery, carrots. Um, I threw in some mushrooms, some diced tomatoes, just some veggie broth. Um, I use the powder veggie broth uh, just because it's cheaper and I don't have to carry um, bottles or anything. And I can just mix it with water. I can do as much as... Uh, I need so the flavor's not too too strong. Um, so I put that, mix them with like, I think I did like three cups of water and I put it in there. And then uh, two cans of tomato soup. And then we also have some fresh basil that I planted um, in the van. So I just took some of that and uh, chopped that up and threw that in there too so it's kind of basil-y. Um, and uh, some seasonings like Italian seasoning, uh, salt and pepper, um, thyme, sage, stuff like that. So it's all in there. Um, so I'm just gonna cook it in the Instapot. Um, I'm gonna put it on soup and cook it for a bit and then I'm gonna add the macaroni and that will be the finished product. Let's see how it goes because last time the power couldn't hurt handle the Instapot so we'll figure this out together. Turning the inverter on. Alright. I'm gonna choose here. Um, I'm just gonna hit soup. Five minutes for soup. And it should start going. So, slight issue. Our inverter, which we already knew about, but I thought I would try again. Our inverter isn't big enough to handle the Instapot, so we need to buy a new inverter. But we won't be doing that until we get back in Vancouver. So, I had to turn on the van, which sucks because BC has a law against uh, idling. Um, but it's the only way I can get the Instapot and the soup cooking so we can have dinner. When you need someone to bring you freedom Cause you're out of saving grace When the world comes undone And you're feeling outrun And it's more than you can take Guys, just here on the gondola at Kicking Horse. I'm gonna hit up some trails right now, and we'll see how she goes. Sam's hitting up the lower trails right now, the lower gondola. On a solo ride, got the GoPro all ready to go. 
take the easier trails and that's gone up to uh, do some hiking trips, so let's rock it. But you can't 